I'm going to show you how to align bars and uh, swap bars. The alignment tool was totally recoded for the latest version of uh, Gelwin unit bars. So to start, you just right click on any bar and this will come up with the align and swap tool. When you click on swap, you just drag a bar or any other bar and they'll swap places. You can also align. You can't do both at the same time. So you can align things any way you want. You can align, this is aligning something vertically. Now when you align stuff vertically, you can apply vertical padding to it. Horizontal padding only works when you align something horizontally. Now when you align um, two or more um, bars like this, then they become a group and then you can offset them. This is useful if you have a group of bars that you want to line up with another bar then you can just do it this way. Also you can line things up not just side by side or top and bottom but you can also line stuff up um, on the edges like this. Of course we can use the padding So you can line things up by corner. You can also line stuff up through the center. As long as the alignment tool is open, the alignment um, always constantly adjust when you uh, change the size of the bar or whatever. So now I can align this thing by center or on the sides. Also it's very easy to select a bar that's right around all other bars. Like this is in the middle, just move it around until it selects it. It won't jump to another one until you pull it away from the other one. This allows you to select any bar very easily when there's other frames nearby. Now boxes inside of a bar also use the same tool, but it works a little differently. Let's use the anticipation bar. And in here, you'll have uh, swap, which works the same way, and you have float. When you activate float, the bar's objects can be moved anywhere on screen. And this opens up a new option called align. So say, so say this anticipation timer here, I don't like it here. I want to line it up with the um, first uh, box. So I right click and of course I have to click a line first. Then I right click it and see how the selection moves. This allows you to very easily pick the box you want and then once you have it you just simply position it and drop it. Or I can do it at the other end. Drop it there or like here. And then I can just simply use the padding um, horizontal vertical to um, move it. Or if you want, you can move the little guys here. And then you can set the um, padding. As long as this, um, the alignment, um, it remembers the alignment in here, even if you close this. And then go back in. 
But if you close this tool here, or switch out of alignment, or close this tool, all the alignment memory will be gone. But it won't be gone for the uh, boxes in here until you close out, um, until you uncheck the align. So I go to swap, and now I can swap different parts of the bar just like I could with, um, with bars themselves. And uh, that's it. Thanks.